Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll look at how to import Excel formatted data into R using the Read Excel package and the R Studio menus. A quick reminder to subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications when we upload new videos. We've got hundreds more awesome and absolutely free videos teaching both R and statistics. So the Read Excel package can import both .xlsx formatted files as well as the older .xls format. To do so, we can either click on File, then Import Dataset from Excel, or we can click on the Import Dataset tab over here, and then from Excel. If we're importing data directly from the web, we can enter the URL here, or we can select Browse if it's saved as a local file on your computer. I'm going to go select this data here I have saved in my teaching folder and the Excel data file. Taking a look, we can see this is saved as an XLSX format. So let's open that up here. Now we can see over here, RStudio gives us a preview of what the data is going to look like. Over here is the name the data is going to be given, and by default, the data name will be the same as the file name. I'm going to go ahead and change that to LUNCAP data here. Looking at the other import options, we can see this sheet option here. And if we take a look at the Excel file we want to import, we can actually see that this file has two different worksheets. This one here, as well as the second worksheet here. So by default, R will open up the first worksheet, but if you'd like it to open the second or another worksheet, you can select which worksheet here. So first, we're going to look at importing the first worksheet, and then we'll come back to looking at importing the second worksheet later. The next option is Range. This allows you to select certain rows or columns to import. And again, we'll come back to this when looking at that other worksheet and importing that. The Max Rows option allows you to limit the number of rows of data that get imported. We can see if we set that equal to 5, it's going to end up importing just the first 5 rows of data. Now, usually you're going to want to import all of the data, but there may be occasions where you want to limit the amount of data that gets imported. The skip option here allows you to skip rows on the import. Setting this equal to 1 will skip the first row. Setting this equal to 2 will skip the first two rows, and so on. The NA option here is how we deal with missing values. So let's take a look at that Excel file first. You'll see here we have one cell that's left empty or blank. And that's one way of indicating a missing value. We also have some other cells with three stars in them to indicate missing values. I included both of these so we can show you how R finds or identifies missing data. So you can see here that blank cell is treated as NA or missing by R. So blank or empty cells are the kind of way of indicating to R that the value is missing. If a different character or symbol is used um, to indicate missing values, such as the three stars here, we can tell R what our coding is for missing values by filling that in here. So we can see if I tell R that three stars indicates a missing value, now those starred observations become NA or missing. The final two options here, um, ticking the box of first row as names, just lets R know that the first row of our data set is the variable names. And we'll untick this if it, we do not have variable names in the first row. And ticking the Open Data Viewer gives us a data view once the data is imported in RStudio. We'll take a look at that once we import the data. Now, we can notice that Read Excel doesn't always get the variable types correct. If we take a look at the disease variable, it's coded using ones and zeros for yes and no, although this variable is actually a factor or categorical. However, if we hover over the little triangle here, we'll see that this is going to be recognized as a numeric variable with a range from 0 to 1. And we want this to be treated as a categorical variable or a factor. So if we click on the little triangle here, we can change this to character. We can also see some of the variables over here are listed as having a type that's double. So let's just check those to make sure they look okay. If we hover over the triangle, we can see lung cap is going to be recognized as numeric. And that's what we'd like it to be. One final thing to point out is if we click on this triangle here, we can also select this option to skip. Setting this variable to skip is going to have R skip it or not import that variable when importing the data. So I'm going to have it skip age for the sake of demonstration. 
Now, one last thing to mention before importing, we can notice down here we get this code preview. And this is the code that we would enter into the console in order to import the data um, from the command line instead of using all these menu options. So let's go ahead and copy that here. And a quick note, you can also just click on the clipboard there to copy it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this in an R script so that the next time we wanna import this data, we won't have to go through and enter all these menu options, we'll have the code ready for us. Now let's go ahead and import that data. Now a quick note on that warning message that popped up, that's just letting me know that the read Excel package was built um, using the most recent version of R and I'm working on a slightly older version. It's nothing to worry about though. So up here you can notice the data view and this allows us to just get a quick look at the data and this was the box that we left ticked in the options previously. You can also notice that age was not imported as we asked for this variable to be skipped. So now we can go in here and under file, we can create a new file and a new R script. And in here, I'm just gonna paste those commands that were used to import the data. So I'm just gonna show you this here quickly. I'm gonna re-import the data again under a new data set called LungCap2. And we can just submit that here, ask it to import LungCap2 data. And if we ask it to view, Again, we can see it's imported the data as we wanted it. So this will just allow us to skip all those menu steps the next time we want to import data. Now, let's quickly take a look at importing that other data sheet. To do so, we're going to import data set from Excel. And I'm going to select that data file. And first, let's give it a name. I'm just going to call it other data. And remember, the default is to import the first worksheet, so we want to select that second worksheet here. And you'll notice things look a little bit messy here. So let's take a look at why that is. If we go and look at the original Excel data, we can see the data set in the second worksheet. And we can see the first few rows are filled up with kind of a preamble, maybe describing the data set. A few rows after are some summary statistics like the mean and median and so on. And really, the data that we want to import are just these variables here. Um, and this data is contained within the rectangle defined by starting at cell B3 and completing at cell E11. So we'd like to import just the data within this range. So here under the data range, we can let it know we wanna import everything between cells B3 and E11. And you can see once we put in that range, now the data looks like um, like we'd like it to. Just the four variables, none of the extra stuff getting in the way. So this looks good, so let's go ahead and import that. All good. Well, I hope this helped. Subscribe, like, and share our videos, and let us know what you thought in the comments below.